Hello, and welcome to my overdue video. Today I'm doing a review on the Corsair K55. Before I get into what the specs are on that, I just want to say um, I'm not copying Frosty from this. It's actually my keyboard. He just made it first because I was going to do it, but I, I just didn't want to. So I am copying him, and I'm not copying. So let's get into the video. So this is the Corsair K50i, uh, K55. Some things uh, before I get into the main review, I'm just going to show you me unboxing it on screen right now. The Corsair K55 is around $50. It's been out for about around a month, I would say. It is a great budget keyboard for anyone wanting to just get into gaming on a uh, PC but doesn't want to break the bank by spending over $200 or $100 on a good quality um, mechanical keyboard. If you want something that's like this, is it's. I'm going to have to say that I like this a whole lot more than my old keyboard, the Razer Deathstalker, because the keycaps are actually a lot higher than the regular ones, and it's really just a lot more enjoyable. And what I mean by the regular kind is I mean the flat ones, like the Razer Deathstalker. This has six programmable macro keys on the side. They're really comfortable but I wish I don't really use them. I only use them for one thing, and that's my editing software. Probably the nicest thing I like about this keyboard is the RGB. And the RGB is really nice because you can change it, and there's actually no software out there. Um, People have been asking, is there software for the Corsair K55? And there's not... Um, software or it actually comes with everything you need to know on the keyboard itself so if you hit fn and you can go through the line of just changing it in the top of the in the top you'll find three buttons up there the first one is a macro key where you press it and you press one letter down and you can actually change it the second key is brightness, so if you want it lighter or darker, depending on, on uh, um, your time of day. Or, um, the second, the third button is the Windows button. And basically what this does is when you press this button, it basically means for gaming, it means that when, if you press that, that means that that will not turn it on. So when you're playing and you get really panicky, you sometimes slam all of your fingers on the WASD key just panicking. Sometimes that touches the Windows button and tabs you out into the main. You can actually disable that by pressing the Windows button at the top. Another great feature I like is the dedicated media keys by the buttons there's a stop uh go backwards uh pause and play and go forwards above that is just some lights i'm telling what's on and to the right of that is the volume mute um lower volume and um make the volume higher so i'm going to do a little test right now with it I think they're really actually really good sounding kind of keys. They're really tacky, kind of clicky. They do not have the sound of mechanical keys, which is a little downside, but yeah. The wrist rest on this is okay. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it is, it's nice to have because I don't like having my hands up like that. It's a very tedious and very just painful. So everyone, hope you enjoy this video of the Corsair K55.